Welcome to the wonderful world of cassava. Step one, chop chop your seed crop. I like planting it into mounds. Um, since we're in Pune, I use a lot of cinder in my soil so it has good drainage. I intercrop with my other plants. So here it's intercropped with taro that's mm -hmm. about two months old. And that one's about nine or ten months old. You can harvest Anytime after nine months, um, some takes longer, and then some after too, too long, like a year and a half, it starts to get woody. Since there's so much root, you don't necessarily want to harvest all of it at one time, so you can dig out however much you want to harvest and just twist it off. Um, it doesn't have a very long shelf life, so you kind of want to just harvest as much as you're going to process right away. Stage one, rinsing the stir up. You don't want to remove the peel. This knife is way too tiny for this root. So... Oh, this has some fungus. You can see the black stuff, so you want to cut off that. No, oh, it's still there. Anyway, to peel it, you start by making a cut down the side. Me, Mama. Couldn't hurt yourself. And then if you have it fresh, it's really easy just to pull the whole peel off and pop. That's so satisfying. I prefer to steam it. Cassava contains cyanide, so it doesn't have a lot of bug problems, but it's also slightly poisonous. Cook thoroughly to remove cyanide. I steam mine for about 30 minutes in an Instapot pressure cooker. Um, you can also just use a regular pot. When it comes out, um, it's just this nice bland starch. Um, you can use it however you like using potatoes. Um, the inside has that one fiber that you want to get rid of. Um, you can just eat it plain, like this, just boiled. Uh, or you can make hash browns out of it. Um, one of my favorite ways is making hash browns with eggs and some veggies. But here they're just boring hash browns. Uh, another way we've been enjoying making it is turning it into tortillas. I have zero expertise making tortillas, so this is just a take it with a grain of salt. Um, I use a blender. I, in a lot of traditional cultures, they pound it um, in like this like drum kind of thing, but I got a blender. Uh, at this point, it's kind of the consistency of Play-Doh. Uh, the kids like it like this, um, just as Play-Doh. You can also use it to eat just like this, where you just kind of make a little dough ball like that and use it to scoop up soup. Always classy here in Pune with the olive rolling pin. Olive jar rolling pin. All right, so at this point you can just enjoy it as a tortilla 
or if you'd like to get fancy, you can also cook it some more. But that is definitely not necessary. Um, you can use it as a savory thing, kind of like a chapati for soup. Um, they freeze really good, so if you just want to make like a big bulk batch, um, they I found they do freeze really good. They get really flaky when you reheat them after being frozen. This is a way to make kind of a sweet snack. Um, if you want to mix it up, make a dessert, cassava dessert. Add peanut butter. Anyway, I hope you enjoy your cassava. And it's multitude of uses. Mm, yum!